Hi everyone, family, Sharon DeVivo here, your Vaughn president, and just wanted to give you some updates uh, for the spring term and also provide you some, with some additional supports. Uh, for those of you that have caught the coronavirus or a family member, um, my, my hope is that you're on your way to healing, as are your family members. And for anyone out there who's lost a family member due to coronavirus, I am so sorry. And the Vaughn team is absolutely here to support you. Um, there are links to resources, and especially in terms of counseling services, on the coronavirus website, www.vaughn.edu slash coronavirus. Please go there for, for some additional help from Dr. Stacy Dutel, our, our counseling and wellness professional. Um, so welcome to my house. Um, I'm sure many of you are going a little stir crazy, as am I. Um, at least the sun's out today, that's a help. Um, but, uh, you know, just so proud of the Bond community, especially in terms of your resiliency and ability to just bend and and move with the times. It's been really incredible. I've had the, the wonderful privilege to talk to about 60 of you over the last two weeks and, and to hear your stories about how you're doing is really incredible and keep up the great work. Uh, so I wanted to tell you one of the supports that we're putting in place to really improve our services. You know, this is a learning process for the institution too, and we really want to take advantage of doing things that make uh, life easier for you. And one of those is to set up an ombudsman room. Um, my veterans, our veteran students out there know what an ombudsman is. It's really a facilitator, somebody who can help connect you to uh, services no matter what it is. So it's sort of like a front desk, right? So the idea is that you'll go into the Zoom room and there'll be a staff person waiting there to give you um, contact information or to direct you to, to services. Um, I know the coronavirus site is great, but sometimes it might be hard to sift through everything and figure out exactly what you need. This will be an easy way to do that. So watch your email this afternoon, tomorrow morning, to get more information about the Ombudsman Room, um, a really one-stop shop for everything, any question you might have. Um, also, you received a memo this week from Dr. Paula Verne about our grading policy for the rest of the spring term. Uh, we are sticking with our standard grading policy, but faculty members also have quite a bit of flexibility, both when they submit the grades and also in terms of incompletes. So if you're dealing with any kind of an issue, and I do mean any kind of an issue, um, your, your first strategy should be to reach out to your faculty member, explain the circumstance, and then work with them on a plan for how you'll complete the coursework. Um, and you'll have until the end of December um, to finish that coursework. So don't put any extra pressure on yourself. Um, really reach out to your faculty member to get that help now before this, the uh, spring term is over. Um, based on the guidance from the governor's office, we have now made the decision that the rest of the semester, all lecture classes will be held online. So again, all lecture classes will be held online for the rest of the spring semester. Lab classes, uh, we are really hoping in May to be able to open the campus to small groups of students to have you come back and complete lab work. But that's not wholly in our control um, and is based on the guidance by the governor's office. So no worries if you can't get your, all your lab work done in May, and particularly if you're interested in taking summer classes, we will issue an incomplete. You can continue on, even if it's a prereq, you can continue on to the next course. This includes our aviation maintenance training students as well. The FAA has allowed us to issue an incomplete, but you can continue to move on in your coursework. All right, so summer classes, we're gonna hold summer classes as scheduled. We may have to start online, um, and hope that we can come on campus at some point um, in the summer. But if we can't, we know we are capable and you are capable of completing classes online in the summer term. For the fall, we'll be back in the fall as regularly scheduled. Right now, the plan is to be open with on-campus courses as well as for the spring. Uh, but again, some of that decision is based on how the governor is handling the coronavirus. Um, so just stay alert, watch your email, uh, watch the coronavirus site. Uh, I promise we will keep you informed um, as soon as that information becomes available. But you should feel free to register for the summer and the fall and that courses will, will go on and proceed, okay? 
Um, in terms of financial aid and some funding opportunities, first for my our veteran students, uh, the federal government has allowed through December 21st for any regularly scheduled on-campus class that moves to online, uh, your benefits will not be impacted. So you just need to make sure if you register for the summer or the fall that you don't register into what would be a typical online course. You can ask our advisement center for more help with this. They'll make sure um, that you're not doing that. But any course that moves online from on campus, your benefits will not be impacted and you were covered um, by the VA until the end of the year. So one less thing for our veteran students to have to worry about. And then for the rest of our student population, on Friday, we learned that the federal government um, is providing with us with about a million dollars in funding that we can give in emergency grants to students. So we are figuring out right now the best course of action in terms of who and how to distribute that funding. So, and as soon as we have made that decision, I promise we will get that information out to you. I know many of you could use some extra assistance right now and say we will move uh, as quickly as we can. Um, because of just our size, it will take us a little time to get that money out. We do have a year. I don't want it to take a year, but we do have a year under the federal guidelines. Um, and as soon as we figured out the best way to, to make decisions about who and how to get that money out the door, we will do that. Um, so keep up the great work this semester. I've been so incredibly impressed when I've spoken to so many of you and the reports I've gotten back from other staff members about how you're doing, about the resilience of on students, your ability to adapt and to just really take to this online environment. I know there are challenges and I just encourage you to keep telling us where you might be having trouble and where we can do better so that we can really serve you well and provide you with a quality education that you so richly deserve. And at the same time, I hope you are feeling the care that we have for each of you. You know, the ultimate, I always tell you this, right? The ultimate success is when you walk across that stage um, and we give you that diploma. Um, and for our seniors who um, unfortunately have to wait a little later for our actual commencement ceremony, it doesn't diminish the value of your degree at all because I, I can't physically give it to you now. Um, but that care and that concern for all of you um, really exists in all of the Vaughn team. And so please reach out to us if you're having any issues so that we can help address it. All right, with that, make spring count and um, take care.